गुड इवनिंग इट्स रेनिंग इट्स क्लाउडी एंड द रेन द रेन ड्रॉप्स द वॉटर ड्रॉप्स ऑफ द सेम वॉट दे यूज टू बी बिफोर दे विल नेवर चेंज दे हैव नॉट चेंज इट विल नेवर चेंज द होल थिंग में चेंज बट द नेचर डजेंट चेंज अनलेस वी प्ले विद नेचर ना आई रिमेंबर दिस इज समथिंग कॉल्ड a secular character of the nature it is the same everywhere whether it's india or it is europe or america and of course there is no rain somewhere in some places unfortunately but what does it tell us that excess of everything is quite bad the rain is very important for the existence of human life the water is the most essential part of human civilization if there is no water i think mankind and all the living kind will not exist at all it will cease to exist so rains are a must almost everywhere and uh, in all uh, the seasons i must say to some extent but too much of rains is also not good as you've seen there are floods and lot of people lose their lives the animals they lose their lives and uh, the life becomes a misery human beings are still acclimatizing themselves to mother earth they are not fully acclimatized like the animals the animals can tolerate any kind of vagaries of weather but not the human beings they have to live in the houses in the shelters and therefore they are quite uh, uh, i mean uh, sensitive and quite prone to the vagaries of weather which includes excessive amount of rain fall but you can see that what is more important is you see the character of these trees the trees are always very good they are good where it doesn't rain the rains and the clouds will be attracted and there will be rainfall in those places if you plant the trees and the whole land becomes green and forested and trees are also good in those places where there is an excess amount of rainfall so therefore trees are good in all aspects so there is excessive rainfall or the low rainfall and that's beside is the need to the reason for you know we exactly do not worship the trees or the rains or something like that but this is appreciation of the nature in the first go the first human beings when they started getting some kind of philosophy outlook to life and consciousness they attributed rains to god and probably they were exactly right the god cannot control in this universe each and everything the billions of galaxies and things like that and he could be go mad and crazy if he is doing everything himself including construction reconstruction drafting engineering of the human life the animal lives in this thing so therefore this is some total of composite forces physical forces the biological forces chemical forces and so on so forth i do not know whether the single creator which is a highly impossible because if god creates anything then either he is sitting inside this universe and nature and when it gets destroyed he too must get destroyed and if he sits outside this vast universe and creates everything himself in this nature then nature is independent of him so therefore nature is more important more precious and worthy of respect appreciation and worship now our worship may reach the trees or not reach these one of the reasons the ancient indians used to respect trees or you can say the worship of the trees is just its preservation if you do not give respect to a tree you will not cut it so therefore some kind of divinity has to be described ascribed to the trees this one reason and at the same time if you try to destroy any life which is useful to us you know it also is given a very honored and respected status and our thought process by people who are much wiser than we people some people create life some people respect life and some destroy it to them to understand in the final moment but whatever a person whenever it creates a life that means there's some kind of respect he is getting benefit out of it see so some kind of animal innocent animal which gives us milk and things like that is beneficial to us it has to give him a status a divine status now for example i must say that cow in our country cow is worshiped and respected it is not that people worship the cow it's not god but we believe that it should be respected life should be honored 
And then on the other hand, there are certain compulsions of living. People have nothing else to eat. I asked one gentleman and a lady in a far-flung remote place. I'll not name that. I was posted there a very long time. I said, yo, religion preaches peace. And what about your uh, eating habits and things like that? So answer given was, there's nothing else to eat. So therefore they indulge in such things like, uh, you know, not exactly the sacred animals they are eating. But the fact is that the compulsions of life you know, or otherwise, or whatever it is. So therefore, whenever a person derives an economic benefit, he feels or she feels that is being benefited by nature, or by any kind of wisdom, that naturally you draw respect and honor for this. And therefore, you know, everything in nature is worthy of appreciation, respect, honor, and our first and foremost duty as human beings will perish within no moment, will be out. But at least once we have seen this world, this universe, the nature with our own eyes, there's some kind of a responsibility, you know, some kind of a gratification and grateful attitude to the place we are born, that we should give something a return. At least we can plant trees in those places where there are none. At least we can look after the lives of those creatures who benefit us. And the fellow human beings, there is no point in living peacefully and happily in this world in case we are not getting along with each other. And therefore, at times we do feel right, speak something which is not right. When everything becomes right and good, the life will become very harmonious and good. Look at these trees, they're so innocent. Do you think these trees harm anybody? No, not at all, but they are living. And I believe, as we see, uh, the experiments done by some uh, of not in very old past, but in recent uh, few centuries, I believe it has been the trees to have some kind of a sensitivity. And uh, what a great gift of nature to the mankind that uh, uh, it doesn't make any difference. It doesn't discriminate between a person who comes to water it, love it, and appreciate it, and a fellow who comes with an axe and cut it. But in the long run, those who destroy the nature and trees are likewise destroyed, and one protects all the other. It is a cycle of karma as we do, so shall we get back. Thank you very much, and all the best wishes. Kindly enjoy this beautiful weather and the rains and uh, pray and uh, grow more trees so that our life all over becomes uh, good and uh, there is no place on the earth even in the deserts i must say that if we make a concerted effort in our respective places we can grow trees during my life wherever whenever i got chance you know i used to take seeds and uh, these chestnuts and all kind of things to the places i used to go and i was successful in some of the places when I failed in some of the places. But uh, unfortunately, our way of living is uh, uh, so erratic now that uh, you cannot imagine these things. But one of my friends suggested to me that even the circumstances have changed. We have shifted from rural settings to urban settings and uh, from uh, settings of uh, beautiful uh, uh, houses and dwellings in. Uh, rural areas in the beautiful trees, birds and orchards are there and uh, even then we can do something by planting uh, saplings. So we can collect seeds, whatever seeds we have in our homes and whenever we give, give, get an opportunity say on Sunday or say we go out and uh, we can always make and put in an effort of say something 30 minutes or 40 minutes to plant trees. Uh, let us preserve this nature so that if we destroy our trees, we destroy those flowers, we destroy, you know, fauna and flora of this Mother Earth, what are we going to leave behind uh, for our future generations to come? Uh, if we do not behave well with the nature, it is going to turn into a landscape which is something like moonscape. And with the nature, we too will perish. And once the entire nature perishes, I'm sure God will not be uh, having any kind of a business to do. And along with nature, he will also perish or she will also perish. Or uh, that primordial energy, we call it, 
will also go away and will become something like moon or the Mars or things like that. And you see this beautiful nature and see the noise coming. I mean, noise is another nonsense which is being tolerated in our country despite the fact that we have laws and uh, these loudspeakers everywhere should be dismounted from all religious places. It is a nuisance. It is uh, some kind of, uh, you know, terrorism. It is some kind of uh, dis disturbance to the peace. And the nature doesn't accept this nuisance. And let's hope this loudspeaker business is brought out, brought down from all kind of religious places. Uh, they are incompatible with the nature and peace. And all the best wishes. I enjoy a good rainy day. Thank you very much.